When you think of powerful fighter jets, you don't necessarily think of Sweden, but you should, because that country is responsible for one of the most important jets in the world. This is the Gripen, and now they've introduced an even better version, upgraded throughout. Gripen is Swedish for Griffin, and this is because it roams the air, capable of significant damage to anything that crosses it. Let's take a closer look at how this top-of-the-range aircraft does this. But before we get started, if you do enjoy this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get more sent straight to your notifications. The Gripen is a multi-role fighter aircraft that was developed by manufacturer Saab and was first flown in December 1988. It then entered operational service with the Swedish Air Force in 1997. The plane was designed to replace all current variants of the Viggen and Draken combat jets. The Gripen project has seen development by an industrial consortium made up of Saab, Saab Microwave Systems, Volvo Aero Corporation, Saab Avatronics, and FFV Aerotech. Five prototypes and 30 production aircraft were originally ordered, and the first prototype made its maiden flight in 1988. In June 1992, a second batch of 110 aircraft was ordered. Problems with the flight control software led to the loss of two prototypes, which caused delays to the date the jet was due to enter service while software upgrades were developed. Eventually, the Gripen was declared combat ready in late 1997. A Gripen demonstration version achieved a supersonic speed level of above Mach 1.2, 913 miles per hour, in January of 2009 all without using an afterburner. This was a significant milestone because it proved itself highly capable of higher range and fuel-saving advantages. The JAS-39A is the single-seater version of the Gripen. There is also a two-seater variant known as the JAS-39B. This variant is equipped with the same avionics and weapon suite as the JAS-39A, with the exception of the gun. JAS-39C is the single-seat Batch 3 and export standard version. This was first delivered to the Swedish Air Force in September of 2002. This version has color cockpit displays, an onboard oxygen generation system, as well as in-flight refueling capability. JAS-39D is the upgraded two-seater variant of this aircraft. We'll be detailing the significantly upgraded E variant later in the video. The original Gripen is a fourth-generation lightweight multi-role combat aircraft, which has a Delta Canard configuration coupled with a digital fly-by-wire control system. It's powered by a modified version of the proven F404J turbofan. This is developed and produced by Volvo Gleigmotor and fitted with a new afterburner. Unlike its predecessor, the Viggen, the JAS-39A lacks a thrust reverser but still has excellent short field capability. The JAS-39 has an advanced multi-mode Pulse Doppler PS-5A radar developed by Ericsson. On top of this, the cockpit is equipped with a Saab Avatronics EP-17 electronic display suite. This has three multifunction displays and a wide-angle 22 by 28 degree diffraction heads-up display. Inside the cockpit, you'll also see the central head-down display, which provides tactical data superimposed on a computer-generated map. The displays on the left and right of the pilot provide the flight data and target data from the sensor suites. The Gripen has seven external points for carrying weapons, one at each wingtip, two under each wing, and one on the fuselage centerline. The air-to-air -air missiles include MBDA Mika, Raytheon AIM-120B AMRAAM, and Lockheed Martin Raytheon Sidewinder AIM-9L. The Sidewinders that are mounted on the wingtips are short-range missiles for enhanced dogfight capability. Air-to-surface missiles include the radar-guided Saab RSB-15F anti-ship missile and Raytheon Maverick missile. In 2010, the Swedish Defense Material Administration awarded a $42 million contract to Saab for incorporating the active radar-guided beyond-visual-range missile, Meteor, as well as radar and displays on Gripen fighters. Other missiles have also been tested, including the Saab Bofors MBDA Taurus KEPD-350 long-range standoff missile. 
There's also an internally mounted 27mm Mauser high energy gun that can operate in an automatic radar guided aiming mode. In 2013, Saab started construction of the pre production Gripen E test aircraft, designated as 39 8. Initial construction works involve the assembly of the aircraft's front fuselage, while the payload mounting works are carried out by ROG. A Gripen E aircraft fitted with a new infrared search and track sensor completed its maiden flight in April 2014. The first test aircraft was rolled out in May 2016. The first Brazilian Gripen E fighter completed its maiden flight at Saab's airfield in Linköping, Sweden in August 2019. The Gripen E has a length of 49 feet 10 inches, 15.2 meters, a wingspan of 28 feet 2 inches, 8.6 meters, and a maximum takeoff weight of 36,370 pounds, or 16,500 kilograms. The maximum speed of the aircraft is Mach 2, around 1500 miles per hour, at high altitude, while the speed at low altitude is around 870 miles per hour. This one-seater aircraft features 10 pylon stations, which give it the ability to carry reconnaissance pods, weapons, and external fuel tanks. The aircraft's internal fuel tanks, with a combined capacity of 7,495 pounds, 3.4 tons, are approximately 40% larger than those of the older Gripen. The increased volume is made possible by moving the landing gear from the fuselage of the aircraft out to the inner wings. The Gripen E has an extremely high-powered engine. It's driven by General Electric's F414G turbofan engine, which is rated at 22,000 pounds of thrust. It features a new high-pressure turbine and new six-stage high-pressure compressor. GE was given a $250 million contract by the government of Switzerland in December 2011 to supply the engines for the new version of the Gripen. The aircraft's engine and design enable it to fly at supersonic speed without using an afterburner. This makes it more efficient so it's able to stay in the air longer. The aircraft also features state-of-the-art sensors. The jet features Celex's ESO-5 Raven Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar System. This is fitted on a swash plate at the nose of the aircraft. The radar provides an angular field of view of 100 degrees and look-behind capability. The passive infrared search and track sensor system fitted to the aircraft is the Skyward G supplied by Celex. This is also mounted on the nose of the aircraft and does not emit signals. The aircraft is further fitted with a passively listening advanced electronic warfare system. Raphael's Lightning III laser designation pod is also fitted to the aircraft for attacking ground targets using laser-guided bombs. The LDP can also integrate an infrared sensor and a charge-coupled device camera. There are also several different modular sensors that can be fitted. For example, Saab's own modular reconnaissance pod system, Raphael's Recolite and Thales' Digital Joint Reconnaissance Pod. In terms of radio, the aircraft can be fitted with regular radios, Havquick Saturn Frequency Hopping Secure Radio, and long-distance satellite communication systems, including the Link-16 for wide area command and control, which is compatible with Florico radar system. It is also fitted with a ground data link called Rover which provides communication to a forward air controller or joint terminal attack controller on the ground. Weaponry has some crossover with its predecessor, but also some improvements as well. The air-to-air -air missiles on the E-version include an infrared guided short-range Iris-T missile and a Meteor missile, which is a beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile. The aircraft also has the flexibility to be fitted with Sidewinder and A-Darter missiles to replace the Iris-T and the advanced medium-range air-to-air missile to replace the Meteor. It can further be fitted with long-range weapons such as R-Darter and Derby, and short-range weapons such as ASRAM and Python. The newest version of the Gripen can also be integrated with a number of air-to-surface weapons, including unguided MK-82, MK-83, and MK-84 bombs, laser-guided bombs such as GBU-12, GBU-16, and GBU-10 and advanced bombs such as GBU-49 and GBU-39. Air-to-surface missiles such as RBS-15F ER, Taurus KEPD-350, AGM-65 Maverick, 
and MBDA's dual mode brimstone can also be integrated into the Gripen E if needed. Overall, the Gripen E is a vast improvement to the original version, and that was no slouch in the beginning. What this jet represents is a quick, efficient, and lethal fighter that may prove to be the difference in conflicts like the one raging in Ukraine. This would explain why the jet has been a popular export worldwide and why it remains the jewel in Sweden's aviation crown. What are your thoughts on the Gripen? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.